A referral by your specialist or GP will lead to your first outpatient appointment at the spinal surgery unit. Here you will be seen for initial assessment by one of our leading surgeons. Once you have answered the questions which will lead to a diagnosis, we will assess your condition and if necessary recommend you for surgery. You will receive a copy of your clinic letter along with a form that you will need to sign to say you are happy to proceed with surgery. Whilst in clinic, you will see a nurse who will take some swabs to make sure you are clear of any infection. To keep you fully informed, you will be told what will happen to you as an inpatient at Stanmore. From your first outpatient appointment until discharge, we will ask you questions about your experience, pain and level of function, which will be recorded on an iPad. For further information on your condition, we will provide you with a patient information leaflet. At the pre-operative assessment, we will check if you are fit for surgery. Before your operation, you will attend a consent clinic appointment where you will have a further chance to discuss your surgery with your consultant. Once you are happy, your consent for surgery will also be taken. The day before admission, please eat a nourishing meal to aid your recovery after surgery. Please bring the following items with you. Upon your arrival to the admissions lounge, we will tell you which ward you have been allocated to and its location. Once at the ward, you'll be greeted by a ward nurse and asked to change into a hospital gown, stockings and briefs. A nurse will check your general well-being and a member of the team will confirm that your consent form is all correct and answer any last minute questions you may have. The nurse and the porter will take you to the theatre where another member of the team will meet you and talk you through the anaesthetics. The anaesthetist team will gently guide you off to sleep. You then have your surgery. When you wake up, the first person you will see is a recovery nurse who is there to make sure you are okay and as comfortable as possible, although post-operative pain is to be expected. From recovery, you may go to the high dependency unit overnight for monitoring and return to the ward the next day. Your consultant or a member of the team will come and see you after surgery to explain what took place. A physiotherapist will also visit you at the earliest opportunity to get you up and out of bed. This is very important in order to minimise post-operative complications. You will be following a post-operative pathway which will include switching from intravenous to oral pain relief to help with early mobilisation. You may have some post-operative precautions to follow for the first eight weeks after surgery and you will be advised if they apply to you. The occupational therapist will advise you with regards to managing daily activities and discuss return to work, sporting and leisure activities. The team will prepare you for discharge on the third day following your surgery. At this point, you'll be able to get yourself in and out of bed, mobilise safely and independently on the ward and manage stairs if required. We may also send you for an x-ray. Once you have returned home, ensure you change your position regularly throughout the day whilst increasing your time sitting. We will ask you to visit your GP practice nurse at 10 to 14 days after surgery to have your wound checked and your clips or sutures removed. We will also advise you to gradually reduce your levels of pain relief with guidance from your GP. Six weeks after your surgery, you'll be seen by an outpatient physiotherapist to teach you abdominal and back strengthening exercises. It may take time, even several months, for your original symptoms to improve, especially if you've had them for a long time. Your first outpatient appointment after surgery will be in six to eight weeks time when you will see a consultant or a member of their team to assess your progress. Please arrive 15 minutes before your appointment time in order to have your x-ray done first. Once your treatment has been deemed successful, you will be discharged back to the care of your GP.